highlights from down to earth april edition and the idea is the first one a festival which has been newly added added new known as the bihan mela now this mela is conducted by the corn tribe in odisha's nayagar area the idea is it is an harvest festival so harvest of paddy and millet crops during this kharif season however there have been two major issues with the failure one is the unexpected rainfall seasons the other is the attack by the pests and both of them have been detrimental to the vegetation and the farmers however there has been uh, various seed banks which have been created nirman is one such and the idea is to collect those indigenous seeds preserve them and let the farmers use them as and when required so there have been various varieties of paddy uh, various varieties of millets pulses and vegetables which have been conserved under this idea the next is northern kenya grassland carbon project is one of the largest and the first carbon credit program that uses livestock grazing practices and this has been uh, doing more harm than actually expected as a good however the idea was through the uh, the traditional grazing there would be a replacement with a commercial ranching but this project which was initially started by the indigenous community turned out into an unplanned grazing and led to more of carbon emissions rather than declining the carbon credits the next is there have been electricity reforms in european union and this proposal was brought into to reduce the ever rising electricity prices in european union so manufacturers would receive a guaranteed long term demand for allowing them to have cheaper capital and this was one of the ideas which was proposed under this concept the next is dairy budget we have seen that uh, 50% of the budgetary allocations have been going through the reversed estimate revised estimates and uh, animal husbandry has been receiving it a huge quantum of budget have been requested for increasing the allocation uh, now the next is in the region of nile uh, there has been issues of food security severe issues of food security despite the fact this is considered as one of the longest rivers uh, there have been heavy metals which are found in the regions nearby which are known as carcinogenic for example cadmium chromium lead copper zinc manganese have been found and mega dams being built with untreated wastewater left in the surroundings is one of the major reasons the next is the amount and the number of monkeys in the western ghats have been increasing specifically in the region of karnataka so there have been a idea to uh, actually have Uh, more of garden areas and more of plantation areas where monkeys could move so that the zoonotic disease spread could be uh, controlled one of the illnesses in the western ghats the kaisenur forest disease which is an hemorrhagic fever seen by the ticks uh, spinigera hemophysis spinigera have a fatality of 3 to 5% shivamogga and char char charmrajnagar have been the regions where they have the highest population for these monkeys and the instances have been rising uh, now controlling this kfd one of the ways is to have a separate fruit bearing area and a new plantation area being established uh, researches have been brought through various health departments and technology centers to have area either as monoculture plantation degraded forest or natural forest being converted into a identified forest reserve and having a ecological restoration the next is radhuni which is also known as amjod in hindi uh, which is a wild celery a uh, use uh, a, 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 a thing which is used as a spice now it is part of the panchmoga or the five spices which include fennel cumin fenugreek nigella and mustard and this is used to improve the airways respiration digestion and is being used with various combinations best time is to use it before the uh, dinner time and there have been various researches going under the north hill here north east hilly areas in the regions of meghalaya uh, where the plantation could be actually brought and researches have been seen also from the regions of karachi in uh, pakistan 
The next is world is heading towards extreme food crisis. 2023 may be the third consecutive years of record price rise for the food, uh, food and related products. So there have been continuous global hikes in three of the major periods, 2007, 2010 and 2021. Uh, the idea is the number of people in the low and middle income is rising and the food price uh, food prices are rising at a rate of 5% or more and this has brought a severe impact or we could say malnourishment or undernourishment problems. So Global Risk Report 2023 has mentioned it as one of the major threats. El Nino is one of the factors which has been affecting it and then the people are being displaced because of climatic events, because of uh, the climate migration there have been further accentuation of this problem. Even the Ukraine-Russia war has been one of the reasons where the climate events along with the political turmoil has disturbed the uh, crops and the plantation. The next is Agrarian Revolution by P.V. Satish. Now, he actually empowered the rural communities and an inspire, inspiration for them to have millet-based uh, cropping, community-based seeds, direct marketing and rain fed areas being used. However, he is no more. He has been associated with genetic resource action, launched a community media trust and brought in rural employment and uh, rural development. The biodiversity jatra or the caravan is one of the major efforts which has been done. The next is climate change. One of the reports, everything, everywhere, all at once, is the strategy to fight climate change under the IPCC synthesis report, which was released on 20th March. This report has been described as a guide to diffuse the climate bomb and everything, everywhere should be done together to actually curb the globally rising temperature by 1.1 degrees Celsius above the 19, 1900 levels. Now, within this decade, the greenhouse emission needs to be cut across all sectors. Carbon dioxide removal technologies must be deployed. There should be rapid cutting of emissions across the globe under six different adoption methods. One is engagement for private sector, insufficient mobilization of finances, low climate literacy, uh, limited research. Again, we have seen that for these, the funds that are allocated and the funds which go into adoption, there is a huge difference and therefore uh, the adoption and the finance that actually is allocated creates a huge gap. Fossil fuels are still one of the major sources which are being attracted and being financed. Uh, there are risks to the local species. There are nearly 30,000 species which are affected. Climate conditions have affected them. High heat, high humidity levels, impact on the food production, which is the change in the yield and change in the maximum cash potential uh, for the fisheries is another important aspect. Pharma companies are now deploying artificial intelligence to reduce the drug development cycle by half. That means the reliability, uh, however, is not 100%, but this would definitely reduce the time in which the drug could be deployed. And for most of the carcinogenic and carcinomas, uh, carcinogenic diseases and carcinomas, this could turn out to be a boom. Uh, so there are various potential drugs which have been discovered by AI Pharma companies. The list of those have been mentioned here. Extremely important would be available in the handouts. The one of the experiments is on hepatocellular carcinoma, which is one of the common forms of liver cancer. Now the Hong Kong based pharma company is working with the AI tools under three stages. So the first stage is pandemics, uh, which is a research paper shortlisting 20 target areas of the protein. Uh, so C uh, CDK20 was selected as one of the potential sites. Then the second stage was AlphaFold, which is a Google owned AI system, which uh, predicts the protein cells in the 3D structure. And then out of the 20,000 proteins which are present, only 10% are known. CDK20 is one of the unknown ones. And then there is the idea to find the 3D structure into chemistry 42 and AI algorithm, which is controlled or which is checked by the in silico medicine that has designed nearly 8000 plus new chemicals so far. Novartis and Union of India patent case has been ongoing. The idea is so far 
Under Section D, uh, the bar patent protection for all incremental in interventions of chemical and pharmaceutical substances is done. That means any development on the existing development was not to be taken into mark. Uh, another extremely important topic for this time is geodynamics. The earth core is getting solid. At the same time, it generates magnetic uh, field which rises and protects the planet and this has brought in great developments. Uh, the base of the crust has a temperature of around 1000 degree, the bottom of metal at 3000 and core at around 6000 uh, degree Celsius. The pressure ranges from 24 gigapascals to 135 gigapascals and human can withstand only few thousands kilopascals. So there have been digging an expedition going in the regions of Koina in Madhya Pradesh to collect rock samples and seismometers uh, being uh, placed in the drilling sites. The idea is to understand understand the earthquake volcanic eruptions which have been going so no, uh, the kola project in russia where the drilling in the kola peninsula in the northwest russia to understand the rock composition and structure by creating new technologies have been taken into place and the deepest man-made man hole has been known as the kola borehole uh, the 10 kilometer deep uh, remains of the petrified organisms have been found and this indicate 3 billion years ago uh, life that was present. So this project was halted and the hole was closed in 1995. Then again it started under the International Continental Science Drill, the scientific drilling program in 1996 where 22 nations including India supported this activity for the Koina project. The next is International Ocean Discovery Program which was launched in 2003 with 21 participating countries to have a research on the polar and the ocean areas, understanding the trapped seasonal humid airs and uh, the samples from these regions uh, to identify how old the earth and the belongings are. So there are various layers and zones which have been identified. So crust at 1000 degrees Celsius, then we have continental crust, inner core at 6000, the mid oceanic range the outer core at 3800 then there is a subduction zone the silicate post perovskite uh, which is a magnesium silicate area the upper mantle the lower mantle at 2000 and 3000 the plume area and the areas with low velocity and ultra low velocity zones uh, then there is a shielding area so we understand how the magnetic uh, curves go and the, the conventions would give rise to magnetic field actually extend to the interior of the earth. The next is the rough waters. So the warmer southern Indian ocean waters have led to Cyclone Freddy. Now this cyclone is an interesting cyclone. It originated close to the region of Australia, moved to Madagascar and finally had a landfall in Mozambique. There have been a highest ever accumulated cyclone energy of 87 units which was seen and this accumulated cyclone energy is a measure of total wind energy which is collected by the tropical cyclone. So extremely important. There were uh, deaths which have have been reported in the regions of Malawi, Mad Madagascar and Mozambique. The turbulent behavior is not, uh, not very uh, recent but there have been uh, other ones like Cyclone Oki, Fani, uh, Amphan and Gulab. However, none of them had an accumulated energy so high as was seen in the case of Cyclone Freddy. So Cyclone Freddy with an accumulated um, energy of 87 units is extremely high. The others have been seen with an energy of 9 to 12 15 and so on. The sea trouble is another important aspect with extreme temperature the quality of the seeds are declining the size of the seeds are getting smaller. Uh, 2020 and 21 saw excessive rains in July and August. Uh, 25 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature for harvesting uh, for the wheat crops however we have seen February and March with 30 degrees and therefore the quality has been again affected. So seed replacement ratio for wheat is only up to 20 percent which says that farmers are continuing with the old varieties as of now. Uh, again there has been a huge sewerage load uh, in the regions of Ganga and the nearby areas. The samples from Bihar and West Bengal show 100 uh, percent collection of fecal coliform levels being very high. In Uttar Pradesh there is 50 percent samples which have revealed it. There is a wide challenge to actually 
uh, work for two of the parameters which is the dissolved oxygen and the acidic or the pH levels. Uh, the dissolved oxygen show the amount of oxygen available to aquatic organisms and pH actually determines how aquatic life can use the water. Uh, again, higher the biological oxygen demand, lesser is the oxygen available to the aquatic organism. So the biological oxygen demand, BOD, actually should be less in order to have a healthy atmosphere. So there have been different stations which have been planted to check the permeable limit for the same. Some other news include the NSSO's report uh, that one of every two households use unclean fuel for cooking. Uh, tuberculosis which is also known as phantom plague is one of the most ancient diseases for the humanity also known as pestis or the captain of all these men of death and then there are um, the various ministries which have shown that there has been a growth in milk and egg production however a decline in wool production was seen uh, the coal productions have increased e-auctioning of two of the coal mines of uh, Odisha have been done a bill has been put on the Himachal Pradesh government which aims to levy uh, water says on hydropower companies uh, also we have seen 15 types of millets specifying the various criteria for moisture and shrill grains for standardizing them in the global and international uh, domestic markets as well and then rammed up is a technique for constructing the foundation walls uh, by ramming the natural raw material like chalk, lime, gravels and this is a technique which is used in Nepal's architecture. So what is rammed earth is an extremely important question for your prelims as well. Uh, so those are some of the small things and one important one is Rwanda became the first African country to have a production facility for mRNA based vaccines uh, uh, receiving six mobile factories from Germany company BioNTech. So those are some of the important things that we have discussed in this down to earth edition. Down to earth occurs every fortnightly so join us for the next edition and the handouts for the same are available at examrace.com the link for which is available in the description below. Thanks for joining in.